You didn't set up anybody with Mizuno? No, I sure didn't. Okay. Did you get in touch with Jason? Jason. At Pure Grip? No, I haven't. That's my fault. I'll call him today. Okay. There's a lot going on. Um, Live from North Myrtle Beach. You still talking with Beachwood? TGD Radio uh, um, presents Tech Talk. Profit Golf's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I want to welcome everyone to Tech Talk with Al Cloyd. Of course, Dr. Grind's in the house. And uh, I'm your host, George Honeycutt. And today is being, Tech Talk is being brought to you by WGAT Carolinas Tour. Of course, the Carolinas Tour is the World Golfers Amateur Tour. And it starts, the full season starts 2014, 2015. We have a wraparound season just like the PGA Tour does, Al. Yes, sir. And uh, it starts October the 6th. Awesome. Awesome. Crow Creek. Very nice course. We've had Jimmy with us. Yes, sir. Doesn't get any better than Crow Creek. No. October time. No. Uh-uh. Bent grass greens. Yep. Got those new Great bunkers. bunkers. Oh, Yo, oh yep. those new bunkers are unbelievable. That's what I've heard. That's what I've I heard. I mean, if it, it just looks so much like Augusta. It's crazy. Oh, man. I mean, they it's do. It's crazy. They, they take care of that um, that piece of property very, very well. Yeah. You know, and that's that's old farmland that's um, been in the family for years and years. Right. So, um, you but know, I, I love the little, best staff. Yep. I think Jimmy has one of the best pro shops in the business. Oh, um, the, the staff, their, their smiles on their faces, the welcoming you. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun at the WGAT Carolinas tour, October the 6th. That's a Monday. And, um, we have a 12 PM okay. and start, uh, start time. And of course you can go to the website, WGATUSA.com. Just hit locals on the banner and you can go to the carolinas tour of course this is for south carolina north carolina we the quote-unquote component segment or however you want to look at it the tour for south carolina north carolina that is part of the wgat usa tour so we're happy to be sponsored by them today for tech talk without cloyd and we got a special show today yes sir. we are going to go into mizuno yes we've got they just got a package from them yesterday um it, this is all their new stuff um and i love new stuff there. i love new stuff um so basically what we'll do is just kind of walk through the line um, they, well, let, let's bring up their website first. Sure. Mizuno is M I Z U N O U S A dot com. Mizuno USA dot com. And then it'll be, it'll pop up and you'll see slash golf because Mizuno's in oh, baseball yes. and basketball soccer. and mini soccer, mm-hmm. several other sports. So you'll need to go under golf. And then under golf, you see all the new Mizuno irons that have come out. That's and great. this is what you're going to cover. Great. So yep. go ahead and hit that. Well, what we'll do is we'll start out at the first of their lineup and out of our feeding cart. Um, so basically, the the first the first iron in the feeding cart is is the MP4. Now the MP4 it was last is was available last year, right? But it was so good they just decided to keep it another year. And that's their full muscle back. Yeah, that's that's the players' club. That's the a, players club. Yep. So I wouldn't play this. The, it is a, a zero to four handicap. Okay. Um, you know, it's a pure muscle design. Um, you know, it's a it, it's a great club to work. Um, so the muscle back uh, for our viewers, of course, we're talking about this component here. As you see, it's yes, a very sir. thin top very line. Very thin top and line. And then they put a lot of meat behind and this is a forged process that's correct yes, so sir. again these cubs are are mazed in a forging aspect yes. uh and so putting the muscle behind the quote-unquote sweet area which should be about three grooves yeah mm-hmm. about three grooves up from the bottom you got it so you uh, got it yeah although yeah. i've never hit the sweet spot and what I, is this sweet, i know where what it is. is this sweet spot you speak of yes <laughs> So, but it's a it's a, it's a great club. Again, a players' club, really players zero club. to five handicap. Yep. Maybe you know if you if you are just a strong ball hitter, you know even zero to eight. But uh, again, a lot of the low handicaps really depends on your short game, dude. Oh, definitely, yeah. definitely. All right, now what here, we got next? Here's a brand new one. Um, and what I done was um, this one right here is called the the MP15. Don't, um, don't take the plastic yep, off. I'll yeah. go ahead and hand it to you. The MP15. Yeah, the MP15. Um, oh, I'll go okay. Ahead and pull up the information on right. it for you. All right, MP15, and this looks very similar, Al, to the Muscleback. Yes, um, the MP15. All right, here we go. 
So we've got the MP15, yeah, this and it's got an insert. Here. Yep, it has a. Um, T- uh, it's a titanium, I assume. Yeah, muscle a, insert. Insert yeah, a tight. It's a tie muscle. Um, it delivers um, increased forgiveness for solid feel. Mm-hmm. It's grain flow forged um, with 1024E pure select uh, mild carbon steel and pure titanium combined um, to provide the ultimate in soft feel and um, consistency. Yeah. Um, it's it goes up to about a, a eight handicap. Uh huh. Um, you know, right in that neck of the woods. Right. Um, just a just a great club. Um, when you look at the the 3D rendering of it, um, it has 10 grams of um, multi material, including um, titanium, replaces 38 grams of steel to maintain the solid feel um, while um, filling up um, discretionary weight from increased moment of inertia. Well, that would so, be this cavity that they put in uh, in the muscle back. That's, that's correct. correct. It does have a cavity. Mm-hmm. That, that mm-hmm. is correct. Definitely. Okay, so it's, so a, it's a muscle back design, again, yes. for probably your nine, eight handicaps or less. Yeah, eight. Is eight. what they recommend. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yeah, zero to eight. Yeah, okay. And uh, again, though, it's got good mass. Yes, sir. I like the way the head, the head weight of it. And uh, it looks like it, it'd be. Uh, you know, easier, maybe, uh, I'm not saying easier, but uh, it, it just gives a little bit more mass at the bottom to get the ball up in the air. I would say maybe a little bit higher trajectory, maybe a little bit more spin than the MP4. That's Was, correct. Is that correct? You're 100% spot on with that. Wow. Okay. Definitely, definitely. I ought to get a job. You can't beat it. Heck yeah. Now, the the next iron that we're going to look at, this was in last year's Arsenal. Uh-huh. Uh, they liked it and they kept it. Um, they, they, when they designed it, they said it's one of the most forgiving MP clubs MP, okay. that, that they've ever designed, and it's called the MP54. MP54. Um, has a nice cavity back. I'll go ahead and let him explain it to you because he's, he's real good at that. Well, actually, um, it, it looks very much like the, the MP series that you just showed us, the MP15, except for uh, with this model, this current model, they've taken and inserted a complete cavity a full cavity yeah from where here hill. where here they they've gone into the they've cut out a slot uh which again would also provide you weight in the back bar so support weight in the back of the head uh in other words giving you that swing weight at the bottom i adding weight to the bottom of the club to help get the ball up a little bit more uh, but, however, they've cut it out here, and that also will help the quote-unquote trampoline effect coming off the face. That's correct, and make it a little more forgiving for toe-to-heel miss hits. Right, and I need that, Al. Yep. That's a great call. I need that that uh, giving a little bit, you know um, what I mean? Yep, the, now the po- one thing that's interesting is the, the pocket transitions on the cavity back vary. Mm-hmm. Um, the pocket's deeper on the longer irons. And when you get to the nine iron, there's actually no pocket. Mm, okay. So they, there's, they have progressive pockets. Okay. Um, for smart. each club, which smart. is which is which is very smart. Right. Right. Um, so they have um, 16 grams of weight, um, which is um, relocated low and deep in the head for easy launch while still right. maintaining the um, the thickness behind uh, impact. So the MP54, what do they recommend as far as handicap-wise to, to sure. look at this and putting this in your arsenal? Would you yep. say, again, I, I see a scratch golfer using this. Yes, sir. Uh, especially in the three, four, five mm-hmm. iron. Yes. Maybe even six. Yeah, you, you'll, we can mix and match and combo set these now. Uh-huh, so that's, uh-huh. but the it's rated from a zero to a twelve. Okay, yeah. So that's, that seems, to, yeah. Yep. But yeah. it's a, it's a yeah pocket. So cavity. Now, now, I have an issue. Yes, we've sir. gone through three three heads now, basically four heads. And uh, we've yet to come to my handicap bracket. So we're, have, we're, have we're, they made something? <laughs> we're, keep, we're keeping on going. Now let's look at the MPH5. Now this one's brand spanking new. Okay. Okay, this one just, this is, just hit the door. Yep, this is spotlighted on their website, by the way, folks. Again, that's MizunoUSA.com. And uh, the MPH5, boy, is this a good-looking head. It Again, is a real good-looking head. The muscle back on this is, boy, there's a lot of mass behind that center of gravity and the and the you know the oh, yes. sweet spot yes there is and uh, I, I would say this is probably pretty forgiving would you say definitely yeah. definitely yeah i've got it i'm pulling it up right now mph5 yep. so let's see if i can um why don't you give me the uh the, the uh, players club that sure. was that we started with you got it 
Okay. You got it. So you can compare. All right. So we've got the muscle back here. And again, it's it's a thinner profile, both top and bottom. Correct. And then you bring in the H5, and it's just a slight bit wider at that's, the bottom. That's correct. More mass to get the ball up, create a little bit more spin. That's correct. Okay. And you've also got a little bit wider hosel sole, mm -hmm. okay, again, to help with playability. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's correct. And uh, and then we've got top line. As you'll notice, the the players club is thinner. thinner. They yeah. want to see that thinness. They want that thinness. I talked to a, an NGA player yesterday, and and he was out hitting blades, but he came to me and said, "Hey, what uh, game improvement club would you recommend for me?" He's on the NGA tour. I'm with you. Oh yeah. Oh, but yeah. he says there's just so much technology out there that could help me. Yep. I could. I could slow down my swing i could more control my swing i could hit work more greens more. Mm -hmm. work it yeah he says i just have a little bit more control again the mp uh h5 is that right did i yes. get that right wow yeah, the M okay mp h5 mizuno you can send me a check um that's right broader yeah. top line mm -hmm. and then let's go back to the back here al sure again the players club does have the muscle back Yes. But then when you look at the MPH5, it's actually Hollow. doubled in size. Yep. As far as the Cavity. as the muscle, muscle itself. Yep. I mean, it's that's amazing, yep. dude. It's um the the 3 iron, the 3 iron is actually a full cavity back. Um it has a, you know the trampoline face on it. Mm -hmm. Um the 6 iron is is the same way. Um you know when you get down into the 9 iron, the um the cavity back, the full cavity back disappears. Because that's just for the feel. Um, okay. But these things are great. Um, they have a, it says thin and high COR. So the coefficient of restitution on this club is 1770. Um, and it has a miraging steel face. Um, so okay, there goes that right eye again now. Yep, miraging steel face. <laughs> love it, I love it. All right, you're, th you're just so, going right over my head, dude. <laughs> but they are, um, they're, it's an, an aggressive set flow, um, highly forgiving long irons. Right. Um, uh, to compact short irons good is, is what is what that series right good. there is all about now mizuno um has been known last year uh the 850 series has really done well oh big time yeah the 8, 850 was was phenomenal now they've got a um well, it was actually it was the 800 series and the um, the 850 is the brand new one. Oh, is it the is it yeah. the, just the 850 is just the upgrade on the 800 yeah. series on the 800 series? Yeah. Now That's that great. was definitely a game improvement club. Oh, no yes. doubt about it. Oh, no doubt. Well, what we start what you what we do now is we we've covered the MP series, mm -hmm. so we'll jump from the MP to the JPX. Okay. And the JPX is is their more user friendly line. So um, let me go ahead and get us in there. So, so JPX, but JPX has been around for a couple of years, right? Oh, most definitely. They're just making changes to the series. That's correct. Is That's that correct. Right? Yeah. yeah. They, every year, you know, they're going to throw something new at us. You know, they just don't sit around. These boys are working, designing. Well, well let's talk about that real yeah. quick. Just real quick. Sure, take, sure. Take 30 seconds. You got it. We see these manufacturers that are coming out with equipment every year, and yes. it's just a market saturation. Yes. And me, John Q. Customer, I sit there and go, well, why should I spend $999 for these set of irons when four months from now there's going to be another set that's going to make these a year old and they're going to be worth $119 on eBay? Right. Well, one of the beautiful things about Mizuno is is they only do once a year. So they're not going to introduce an iron mid-season. Okay. Um, not unless it's just – you know, a well, very, very, very like Titleist does it every two years. Every two years, they do. The, the Titleist does fairways. They'll do drivers, fairways, and hybrids one year, and then the next year they do um, irons and wedges. They'll introduce an iron or or a new iron or or, or a wedge. Or they'll something. take every iron that they make and they'll make a, a change to it. Okay. Um, so they'll they'll make a technological what they feel is a technological advance. Uh huh. Um, so like they had the AP one line, the AP two line, then they have a CB, which is a cavity back an MB, which is a muscle back. Um, and then each year they, they actually denote the club numbering as far as what year the club come out. Okay. All right. Um, I you got know, the you. only time they didn't do that was around the nine 11 stuff. Right. Um, right. because it, some of their products would have failed in that physical year and they didn't want to put that on a golf club. Right. Right. Um, so, but th that's what, um, that's how they do that. So like, you're, Interesting. you're like two, th um, the 14s, you know, come out in 2014, you know, so on and so forth. So. Yeah. But, um, but again, you stand on the standpoint, as always, that you do, Dr. Grind, is 
Go out and test these things. They oh, can definitely. come see you. Oh, yes, sir. Because not only, great, you're buying a game improvement head or a player's performance head or whatever you're buying, but the shaft has an awful lot to do with it. It is. It's the heart and soul of the club. You know I mean? It's so. just – it sure is. And, and one thing, I, you know, that be that's interesting for our viewers is, is when you go to look at, you know, at reselling golf clubs, value. Um, Mizuno holds their value better than any other club on the market. Oh, okay. Um, which which is really really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, after that comes Titleist. Um, unfortunately, Callaways go down real quick. Mm-hmm. Taylor Mades go down real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Adams's go down quick. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's there's still some older Mizuno irons, like mm-hmm. the, you know the the, the classic stuff mm-hmm. that right now is still selling for what they sold for new. Um, played Interesting. with. Interesting. Um, so the Mizuno does have the best resale value mm-hmm. uh, when you do go to try to get rid of them. Okay, let's um, go into the JPX. You got it. You got it. Uh, the first one we'll look at is called the JPX Forged. Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh. I'll let you go ahead. And Darker metal head. Yeah, they they went with a completely different finish on it. They um, it's it's totally away from what Mizuno would normally do. Okay, this is a forged head, but it's called the JPX E. Z. Yes. E Z. And it's kind of a gunmetal, would you say, color or Yep, it's a gun it's a gunmetal color. Okay. Um it's a you know, it's a different iron. It it's got the nice thin top line um that a lot of guys like to see. Um but yet it has this massive gigantic cavity back in the back which makes it forgiving. Um and the forgedness of it gives it a a, a great feel. Um, so it, it's a good iron for um, the handicap level on this one. It goes from about a, a eight handicap to an eighteen. Really? Yes. So if you get a slightly higher handicapper who just does not like the look of you know the big thick top soles, you right. know, and the big thick soles, right? You know, this is something that they want to look at, you know, because it's it's more traditional, but yet it's still ultra forgiving. Let me ask you a technical question here. We see this webbing design. On the yes. back of the face. Yes, sir. It almost looks like that they've said, okay, here's the sweet spot of the club. Right. Is, is that what that stands for? Or the, um, does know, that, it really not have question. that effect? Or Because uh, it, I would think as the ball hits the face and then you get that quote-unquote instantaneous trampoline effect. I'm not putting you on the spot, Al. That's I'm okay. just no, curious. No, no. I'll get you an answer. I'm just curious because, of course, there's a larger space out toward the toe, okay. and then that shrinks down at the back back here, and subsequently mm-hmm. on the top, it's smaller than the top on, the, on out toward the toe. But then they've got this emblem inside yes. of this quote-unquote. You know, spot. if I'm an amateur, I'm going to look at this and say, okay, let's see, coincidentally, that must be the sweet spot. So the sweet spot must be right here. Right, right, right. So well, actually, um, what it is is it is um, it's an acoustic enhancement. Um, ah, okay. A composite uh, badge uh-huh. for optimized sound at impact. Really? So that's exactly what that is. It's it's designed to. They put a damn muffler on it. They put a muffler on it. That's it. A set of, a set of glass packs. <laughs> Jerry bombs. Gilder, I'm never I'm never surprised anymore. So that's what that's what they've done. They didn't like the sound of it, obviously, when when they designed it with an open cavity back. Yeah. Um, so they needed something to to probably quieten it down. Um, so at this it's point, a muffler. you know, so it's, it's, it's basically a muffler. It's a muffler. Yes, sir. I'll be doggone. So that's what they. That's what good exactly head. what that is. Good looking head. Um, got good mass to it. Yes. Um, I like the bottom line. I like the way it looks. It sets up. Um, it's it's very similar to the. Um, the uh, MP15 series in the fact that you just don't have the insert yep. behind the, the sweet spot. And we might as well go ahead and jump into this one next. Okay, that's... Ooh, uh, okay. Yep, yep. Deep cavity. Yep, that's the that's also, you know, in the same series. Um, you know, it's a JPXEZ, but um, instead of being forged, that's a cast model. Ah. So it, it's not as expensive to buy off the rack. Um, forged is always cheaper than... Or I'm sorry, cast is always cheaper than forged. Cast is always cheaper than forged. Um, yeah. So they're 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 a little less money. So um, if you're into those wide, really wide sole, wide the, top band, yeah, the Callaway stuff, the, uh, yeah. the pings, the pings, yep. If you're into that significant game improvement aspect, ultra. If you're a mm-hmm. beginner, if you're um, a higher handicapper, uh, gr- say greater than twenty, I would assume. Yes. Then um, then this iron uh, will give you the most mass. 
um, I believe stepping from this, you'd probably want to look at a hybrid next. Would yes, you agree? You sure would. As a matter of fact, I just so happened to have it right look here. Look at this. How? <laughs> You can't beat it. Folks, I'm a professional. Don't try this at Don't home. Don't try this at okay. home. That's right. So here's the JPX F-L-I-H-I. So that stands for fly high, I would assume. That's it. That's Dr. exactly Grime. what it is. Yes, sir. So, and this is a six, um, a six hybrid. So assumed to be taking place of your quote unquote six iron. Yes, um, that's so, correct. Um, now, what they do is they do a, what they call DIR, is a direct iron replacement. Mm -hmm. uh, most manufacturers' hybrids go further than the iron that they're replacing. Mm -hmm. So, it, you know, it can get a little little tricky, you know, right. because the, right. the three hybrid all of a sudden is way outperforming the three iron, and, you know, and, and so on and so forth. Exactly. But these are actually designed to go the distance, you know, that the iron goes, so they'll correlate better with the set is, is what they're designed okay. for. So the face angle... The, the face angle yes, sir. is actually set up for a six iron face angle. That's correct. That's okay. correct. Yep. It's just giving you the mass and the ease of hit yes. and the, behind and, the face. Yep, the thin face, um, and it's giving you the, a little bit of a trampoline effect. Um, and it, it's it's a great look. Well, compared plug. to a six iron, it's giving you a lot of trampoline effect. It's giving effect. you a lot of trampoline effect. There's That's no correct. doubt about it. I mean, you know, you're able to get more mass behind the ball on miss hits and things of that sort. Definitely. So your misses aren't going to be as bad with this exactly as they may be I, I don't even think they'd be bad with this but yeah. i'm saying they'll be less bad with this than this that's correct so that's correct you can catch behind you know with these hybrids yeah they still skip and pop into the ball and give you something right where a right. lot of irons if you catch them heavy you know it just stops the club right um so th for people that don't take divots this is what you guys really need to be looking at um, so if they're a sweeper, if you're a sweeper versus a versus a plower, yes sir, yeah, these things are great. I mean they're they're just great because they have a low center of gravity. They've got a lot of weight centered low down on the golf club, uh -huh. um, which gives it a which gives it a higher launch rate. Okay, um, which makes it easier to get airborne. And most of the pickers will tend to struggle to get it airborne. Yeah. Or if they do get it airborne, you know it's it's just high and short. Right. Um, right. So, but this thing here planes out really nice. It's got it's got some uh, ribbing on the back to help you get through the thicker stuff. That's I would correct. assume that's correct, and uh, to give you a, a clean sweep at the ball. So again, game improvement, game improvement, game improvement. Definitely, it, it's don't be embarrassed if you have all hybrids in your bag, folks. It doesn't matter what you arrive with; it's that you arrive. That's and, it, and so it all it all boils down to that number that you put on that scorecard. So. Uh, okay. That's what it. This, that's what it breaks down to. Now this. One, right. This next one I'm a little excited about. I like. I, you uh -oh. know, you always pick. I was excited. Um, but this is this is a JPX line, um, but what they've done is they've they've got a forged JPX now. Oh, okay. okay. Um, this thing's just gorgeous. It's got the undercut to it. Um, I'll go ahead and show it to you. But that was kind of the one that really jumped out at me. Wow. Yep, that's that's kind of what I. So this is why you got me off the 850 discussion and waited till now. You got I it. I got it. You got, got it. it. Yeah, you didn't want me to pop the balloon early. <laughs> so These things this are is just sweet. This yep. is the JPX Easy. Yes. And then which is a cast club. That's the yeah the JPX. Which is the cast. That's the cast. Yes, sir. And now we're into a forged, forged. model. Yes. Which is going to be a softer alloy. That's correct. Okay. Agreed. Yes. And um, it's but it's got the deep cavity. Yes, sir. It's got a deep muscle going along the back of the club at the bottom again to get the ball up, create more spin. Yes. Um, and I'm telling you, it looks like a player's club. It does. I mean, it really does. Um, the you know to be in the JPX line, you know, it looks like it should be in the MP line. Exactly. Yes. That's just what I was thinking. It does. Yes. Sir. I mean, if you're a 2022 handicap, you would not be embarrassed to have these in the club. No, not in at the all. bag. Not at all, dude. They're going, holy crap, when did you reduce your handicap by 12? You're playing Mizuno. Yep, yep. What's up with that? That's it. That's it. Well, the eight. The and, eight. and then you've got the one I was mm -hmm. talking about earlier, which I've seen previous models to this. Yes. And I think it's a beautiful club. Oh, Al. definitely, definitely. Um, I'll just give you just a little bit more information on the JPX 850, um, just so, so everybody kind of knows what's going on with it. It's a um, uh, from a 6 to a 16. Is the handicap spectrum on, really? Yes, sir. Six to sixteen. 16. Um, it's grain flow forged with a ten twenty four boron. Now the thing about the boron is, is that club right there will not wear out as quick as the the um, MP series. Um, what the, what they wanted to do is they wanted to give a 
a little bit more longevity, right. a little more life to the right. golf club. Right. Um, so they've come up with this new new boron. It's actually 30% stronger material uh, for a thinner face and a longer distance while delivering soft, solid, consistent feel. Right. Um, so and then it has a power frame. Um, which um, enhances the entire face to flex for increased ball speed and distance. Right. And then it has a ultra um, CNC mill pocket, uh, which produces um, a high launch angle and increased ball speed uh, four through the seven. Yeah, that's the pocket that runs right along the bottom here behind yep. the, behind the muscle itself. Yes, sir. Yep. So it's um you great know, looking it's club, dude. Great looking club. It um it uh, the weights push to the corners. Mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. the, actually it's pushed to the four corners yeah um, you can see that for increased forgiveness um let's see the thin um forged um face so which is um you know they're on about the trampoline effect for un unmatched distance in yep. a forged iron and then um the ultra cnc pocket cavity um you know they're, they're real proud of that we're gonna have to hit these dude we're gonna have to hit that club yep all right let's uh let's cover the yep. last 850 and then we'll move on there you go that's the 850 Okay, this has got a colored insert. Uh, this just happens to be blue, and, and they're doing them for ladies now. Uh -huh. I, I did unfortunately, I didn't bring that head, but it's got the the pinks and the grays. Okay, all right. Again, it's a. Um, I think this is the JPX eight hundred and fifty. What's its uh, separated uh, nomenclature from the fours? This is this is forged. Is this forged likewise or cast? No, that's a cast club. Ah, okay. And so thusly, we also have uh, a cutout, uh, heel and toe, I assume, to bring more uh, mass forward in the club to help get the ball up. That's exactly right. It's designed to... to Did you, I get it right you again? Got, you get the nail on the head, man. man. I'm 100 He's for 100 good. today. He's good. <laughs> man behind the glass just passed out. <laughs> And we right. have a colored insert. Yes. We have the same emblem uh, to help with the trampoline and things of that sort as we had with the cast club, or with the forge club. Excuse me, folks. That's correct. And, uh, again, uh, very similar. Uh, it's, a, it's a touch wider at the bottom. Yes. A uh, touch wider at the bottom. But it, It's and, replacing the 825. Is that what it's yeah. doing? Yeah. Okay. Um, a touch wider at the top. Not mm -hmm. not obsessively wider, but it's no, a touch wider. It's a, tu it's a touch. Yeah. And uh, it seems to be, although my eyes probably uh, no, it's it's identical. It's it's uh, as far as profile. As far as profile. Yeah, from hosel to uh, toe. Yeah. So Definitely. great looking club, yep. dude. Handicap, and what's the handicap? handicap? Yep, you got it. It runs from a ten to a twenty five. Okay. So that's their that is that the they're one of the most forgiving clubs. Um, you know, it and also the the JPXZZ. Well, I tell you what, James St. Cyr, who plays in my Saturday group, he's a 30 handicap out. Yep. And this last week at uh, Carolina National, he shot less than 100, first time ever in his life. Nice. Congratulations. Awesome, man. Congratulations. He's looking for a new set of clubs. I think yep. I'm going to turn him on to Mizuno. Man, I tell you, it, it's a that? great company. I appreciate that. How about that? So, That's awesome. Um, anything else coming up or we need to kind of wrap up here okay well we'll, we'll maybe next show we'll go through some of their shaft options yeah um, you know yeah, I, br yeah, yeah. I brought oh you in, brought all the shafts but, yeah, um, but. you know we'll, we'll, that, that's not you know that's okay. gotta give us something else to do next again week. they can come see you go oh, through yes. a fitting cart and all that oh, and yes. get fitted for these different yeah. heads with and Mizuno with Mizuno one thing that the uh, viewers and listeners they have the it's called the DNA stick um, but it's a it's it profiles your swing um, it's so unique it has about 80 sensors inside of a of a test club and it tells us your club head speed, your tempo, your toe down, your kick release, and your release after. Um, we take all those numbers, program them into Mizuno's database. Right. And then Mizuno's database comes back and tells the club fitter what shaft is going to be absolutely optimal for your performance. Perfect. And everybody I've put through this system has been more than happy. Except for when you put me through it, it said take two weeks off and quit. There you go. It, told, it told me to take three. <laughs> two. <laughs> <laughs> Al Cloyd, Dr. Grind, thanks so much. This has been yes, Tech sir. Talk with Al Cloyd. I'm your host, George Honeycutt, and we thank you so much for joining us here on TGD TV and TGD Radio. Of course, all this brought to you by the WGAT Carolinas Tour and the Zeus Digital Marketing Network. Thank you. Awesome. Oh, sorry. I, think that was you, real good. Dude. I mean, we were just bumping up against the window there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. I'm sorry to brush you. Oh, no, no, that's good. That's good. Good I mean, stuff. Anytime good when, you, stuff. when you run out of time, you know you're covering some stuff good so. stuff cool yeah i like that i want to oh, i want to yeah. definitely try that yeah i thought you too <laughs>
<laughs> yep. Definitely try Definitely that. Definitely try that one, yep. Come back here. Come back here. You know, they sell um, almost one to one.